Hi, Intune friends. In this video, we're going to deploy Windows 11 25H2. What does the 25 mean? Well, the year is 2025 right now, and H2, it means the second half of the year. And we are in October, so definitely we are in the H2. So how does it work? Well, Microsoft changed a bit. So if you're already running Windows uh, 24H2 and September, October update, they have already installed all the files needed for 25H2, but you have to switch it on. So the files are already there. It's called the continuous innovation. So I think it's mentioned here. Uh, by default, they ship the features already before, but they are turned off. And then you can enable it when you want for your enterprise. Anyhow, so we go into IntuneMicrosoft.com. We go to Devices. We can click on Windows so we get less options. And then it's under Windows Update. If you are like me, you have the lowest uh, features in uh, Intune, you can still do feature updates here. And in a previous video, I see I have done GBN Win 11 24H2. Well, now I want the same, but uh, for uh, um, uh, 25H2, but I'm not going to prefix it GBN this time. So I'm going to call this Win 11 25H2. You know what? I'm going to zoom in a bit. So, a bit bigger. Um, new default uh, Windows 11 uh, version for GBN since uh, 3rd October 2025. We have decided we're going to use this version. We have validated it. So here we have the versions to deploy. Well, we want 25H2. And here, due to uh, my licensing, I can only make available to user as a required. You can put it as a optional also if you have the specific license, but hold on, I want this. And we don't want Windows uh, 10 features if they can't run Windows 11 because Windows 10 is out of support, uh, I think 18 October this year. So definitely no, you can extend it and stuff, but no, no Windows 10. Then we have the rollout options. We can make it as soon as uh, update available as soon as possible, or we can schedule a date to say like, hey, I don't want it today. I want it, uh, let's say the 21st. Now I actually want it um, right now. You can also, it was also license, make the update available gradually. It's gonna deploy it little by little, which is, you can do that manually by grouping instead. So I do this, scope tag, I keep the default assignment. You can exclude. So here you could add like your validation group first and have it running and let them test it. I already want to run it on all my machines. So I'm going to check for my Windows group. This is all my Windows devices, all two of them. Select. Uh, it shows five devices, which uh, doesn't make sense. I only have two. Maybe I, by mistake, have added some Mac devices. Doesn't matter. So we go next. Or maybe I have five devices, but only two active. So this looks good. It's a, uh, well, that's just the name. This is the Windows 11 version 25H2. I want it directly and it's required. So we can hit create. And since I already had this one, I'm going to remove this one. I could just delete it. So I had it to the same group. Everything is the same uh, last year. So I'm going to delete this one. I don't want them to have two. It's going to take a little time. Let's refresh. Perfect. Now I just need to wait for my machine to get the update and then it's done. Okay. So it took, uh, 15 minutes maybe, uh, I did some sync and look what, who's here, 25H2. So if I run a WinVer, right now I am on 24H2. Back after the restart went extremely quick. You can see that on the time here, it took a lot less than five minutes. And this is a virtual mach machine for restart. So, and now if we look WinVer, Look what we got here. We have 25H2. 
So this was done in less than seven minutes in total to enable to push and get it and restart the machine. So 25H2, if you already have the September updates, it will go very quick. So good luck with that when you're doing it. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in another one. Have a great day.